Hello, this is Paul from Fossil Tech. In this video, let's prove theorem 1.7.1. 1. 1. 1. The first part, properties of uh, triangular matrices. And the eighth, uh, transpose of a lower is up, and the transpose of an upper triangular is a lower. Um, that should be up, yes, right, by the definition. And let me just give an example. And we see this is a lower triangular, right? And then what is the transpose? Now we calculate the transpose. Uh, by the definition, it's in the change the row and the, the column. Because this is a square, or you say it's just a flip uh, over the diagonal entry, okay? Let's see, it should be like this. Okay, so this is by definition. What do we get? We definitely have a, a upper triangular, right? And this is a, a three by three. So you can extend it to general and by n. And the same way, if uh, uh, you transpose an upper, you should get a, a lower. Okay. And then look at B. Uh, B says the product of a lower triangular. Uh, probably like a two law a triangular or three or more than two okay multiply together uh is a law a triangular keep it the same type or and the product of uh, upper triangular is up so uh, again let me uh, give an example also let's keep the proof as a symbol as this is not a proof just a, uh, we see the idea let me give a uh, like a uh, two three by three lower triangular and then we multiply together to see what is the product. Okay now uh, so we have a three by three two lower triangular uh, matrix multiply, multiply together. What is the result? So we do calculation by the definition of matrix multiplication. See now what do we get? So we will get a, a three by three right the size is three by three. Okay. Uh, we calculated the first. What is the first? The first should be first a row multiplied by the first column, right? The sum of product, which is a A11. And uh, see, so you pick this and multiply this column. So we should have A11, B11, right? Okay, so let me get. Okay. Now what is the second entry? The second entry should be the first row and uh, time the second column. So we can see here, times here. Okay, so that's zero and all zero. So you will get it by the definition. The second entry is zero. And again, the third should be also zero. Okay, and then that's change to the second. The second row should be pick the second row from A and then times the first. Okay. The first column, what do we have? So A21, B11, or whatever, okay? So you will get a number. I don't care, that number probably not a zero, okay? So let me give a general, I just put star here, uh, describe it as a number, okay? We are interested at this diagonal entry, okay? What is, uh, Two, two, the second row, the second column. So I need to find this column. The second row of A multiplied the second column of B. Uh, you see? So A21 times this zero disappear. A22 times B22, zero times this disappear. So we get A22 times B22, right? Let me put. So this number should be uh, A22, B22. Okay, the third number. You just uh, uh, do calculation of the second row multiply by the third column. See, uh, two zero and another zero, we get a zero, okay? So easy, here we get a zero. And then this number the same from the third column, uh, the third row of A, from the third row of A, and then times the first column of B, we get a number. So no matter what that number, no matter what this number, we look at the last, okay? which is the 
third row multiply the third column a sum of products what do we get we get a three three b three three that should be the last one A three three B three three. Okay, and here and this number, uh, probably non-zero, probably, uh, probably zero does not matter. What do we get? We definitely get a, a lower triangular, right? Okay, so uh, therefore the product of two lower triangular we get a lower triangular. So you can enlarge, uh, go to general and by n. And uh, I have one observation, you see, that the special diagonal entry is just uh, uh, the product of the corresponding diagonal entry coming together. Okay. So this is a, a property also. Um, so this is for the lower. So how about the up? So two up multiple like together, we should get up a triangular. And the same way. Or let me show you another okay so another way to prove two upper triangular multiply together we get a upper triangular okay we just use this result see let me pick uh, a if a is uh, up and the b is also up and uh, we look at what is the product okay and that this is a uh, upper triangular and the b also uh, up triangular and then we do this way as a transpose first and then we transpose the second time why I transpose uh, transpose of a transpose of a cause equals the original no problem right and then I buy a property we learned before okay uh, in the middle see and these parts that's the transpose of product okay is the product of a transpose in a different order so therefore, I get a transpose of B times transpose of A inside, and then transpose, okay? And these are the same. Now we we'll look at uh, what is what is the transpose of B, uh, upper triangular. So from uh, A, we just have, right? So this should be a lower triangular. Does that make sense? A lower triangular, okay? By a, we just approved it. And then the same, so here is also a lower triangular. Um, can you see a little bit up? So we just approved that two lower times together, we get a lower triangular, right? Okay, so therefore, see, what do we get? We get these two times together is a lower triangular, okay? Uh, matrix, and the transpose of a lower, okay, again, uh, from A, what do we get? So this should be a uh, uh, transpose of a lower is uh, up, okay, so, uh, up triangular matrix. Does the proof? Thank you.